I know you want a two birds, one stone these altars, but that's a bad idea. Initially, I thought I could save time by pulling up a map of these altars on a second monitor and go for the convenient ones while doing the campaign. That's garbage. For one, the detours take a lot of time. When it comes to the map, tabbing to pull it up all the time is really annoying and using the pin is definitely easier. However, this makes multitasking weirdly difficult in Diablo 4. When trying to set a pin to the campaign objective and then deviating to an altar, that took me like minimum 5 minutes per altar. Not efficient. And these altars of Lilith are pretty much mandatory. But you only have to do them once. Why once? Because the stats don't reset per season. Only the Renown resets. Unlocking via the Altars of Lilith will also unlock for their seasonal characters in the future. Such that players aren't, don't need to go and collect every Altar of Lilith with every new season. But you do want to get some of them. They do still grant experience. And they do give you uh, some uh, bonus towards your, you know, boost towards your Renown. But there's not the sense that you need to go and like do every single one of them every single time. We want that to be a really fun experience for players uh, to engage with it, particularly while they're exploring Sanctuary for their first couple times at most, you know, and, and have, that, uh, have that bit of fun. Otherwise, players can choose to engage with them or ignore them as they go into their seasonal playthroughs in the future. Right. So characters, uh, you will, if you unlock a permanent stat boost in Season 1, that will persist into Season 2. That's correct. The best way to do the altars is to wait until after the campaign or when you can dedicate your own time to it. Because during the campaign, you unlock the mount so you can move faster, and that's something you definitely want when chasing all of these down. You can plan your route with a nice Icy Veins map that's out there. You just have to compare the map with the ones that you already unlocked, and then you can plan your way no problem. And with that route, you can use the pin mode dedicated to the altar for maximum efficiency. It took me 12 minutes for these remaining altars in the Fractured Peaks. It's about a minute each and it definitely beats 5 minutes per altar trying to do it with the campaign. Right. Oh, there's an altar Lilith right here. Very convenient. And one tip is maybe complete all the strongholds first before you do these altars. Otherwise, it can slow you down because some of the altars are unlocked with the strongholds. Jesus! And with those tips, you can knock it out in no time.